Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Pisces weekly money and career reading from February 19th to the 25th, 2024. Pisces, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Pisces, weekly money and career. February 19th to the 25th, 2024. Thank you all for being here. I hope you are well. Be on the lookout on the Here Out for the magic word. If you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce the name in the live, the last live, <coughs> sorry, the last live uh, of the month of February. I do lives every Sunday at 12 noon for anyone that's interested. Uh, becoming a member of this channel uh, gives you access to a free question during the live. Uh, so I hope you can join. Okay, let's get started. Pisces Weekly Money and Career, February 19th to the 25th, 2024, for the sign of Pisces. Leaving something behind, moving on, Pisces, moving on. You're hesitating, you're hesitating, you're confused, you might not have all the answers yet, right? With this moon, you have been disillusioned. This is something that you mm, took your time or were not quite sure if you were going to stay or go. For example, stay in this job, stay in this project, stay in this partnership, collaboration, whatever it is, or even staying in this school, you're moving on. Uh, you are waiting for answers, or maybe you are waiting for answers, or maybe you're waiting for that callback or waiting for that message. Let's see where this is going. It feels like, yes, it feels like it's confusing, or to say the least, Yes, done. Whatever this is, Pisces, um, either you're done with these energies or done uh, with these emotions. You don't want to, to, you feel they're not yours anymore, right? So this can be the end of a project, the end of a job, you leaving a job or the job leaving you or you understanding that it's no longer serving you and you're moving on to or going back to, there we go, with the Six of Cups, um, something else. Let's see where this is going. Are you going back to a job? Or are you going back home? Are you moving back home? Are you moving back to uh, closer to family? Are you deciding to... Uh, start something with your family or working with kids or starting a project that you've had for a very long time uh, back in the day, but mm, I don't think it's that. I think that you're, yes, you're disappointed, you're frustrated financially, and here comes another offer. Well, there we go. And you're moving forward on something else. Okay, so if you were hesitating or waiting for those answers or feeling confused because, like I say, in most of my readings, the shoe is no longer fitting in that job. It's and and But it feels like you have been hesitating for a while or you have been frustrated for a while, not enough money or didn't get that promotion or you feel like you're not involved or you feel like you're not important enough in the eyes of your manager, of your boss or whatever, that promotion passed you by. Uh, it feels like you're at the end of that tie, that connection uh, with the Ten of Wands. You're at the end of that cycle. Moving on to something 
maybe more creative. Seems like you have an offer here. Uh, but it seems like these toxic ties are really um, what uh, is, I mean, you felt bound to this person or bound to this place or bound to this certain dynamic. And wow. Okay. And so, yes, you're you're disconnecting disconnecting with that vibe hmm interesting okay well let's see uh what the other cards say it's just an overall feeling of dissatisfaction of disconnect not enough money not working for you sort of um a codependent vibe here uh whether it's at work or you feel you felt obligated or you felt tied to this uh company or this way of working or these responsibilities and yes double the eight of swords really feeling tied to this person or to this company or this way of working or this philosophy and it feels like it's just not working for you anymore but you're at the ten of wands at the end of that cycle so let's see where this page of cups and this knight of cups is leading you because it feels like you're embarking or you're getting an offer or messages coming in regarding something new fresh a new idea creative idea and and that i feel like you're pushing forward on that with the knight of cups that is actually moving forward and it's giving you um a sense of stability again emotional stability this has been rocking the boat for a while and uh it feels like now you're able to uh, think clearly, to decide clearly. As I say that, I get the Seven of Cups. Not funny, but yeah, those are the confusions, the disillusions. What am I going to choose? You have options. You have different options, but it feels like, um, yeah, the three of, three of Swords again, Pisces. Yeah, it, it really seems like you're at the end of that relationship or work dynamic or job or business uh partnership and yes you're moving on to something else i think it's you're it's becoming clear in your mind you can plan now and you have that vision and i think you have that vision of getting out of that getting out of your comfort zone getting into something more fun uh than what you have been in now I have a sense that it's not uniquely job. I feel like this three of swords might be also, maybe it doesn't have to be, maybe it's just for one person, a relationship as well, a relationship dynamic that's sort of pushing you to make changes, pushing you to move back home or to move somewhere else or making a decision within a relationship that sort of automatically triggers um decisions within your job business you know take it as it resonates okay um yeah it's pretty i like that it's opening up though um i feel like this end here whatever it is three of swords uh and love and light to anyone that's going through uh difficult decisions difficult times uh love and light to you all um as you push through to new energies fresh energies opening up and but i feel like you you got this because this is something now with the three of wands you're you're planning you're planning your next cycle you're planning your to develop this new project or you're you you're making your decision to move to your next chapter and that is really um, giving you a sense of joy. There we go. Celebration. It's almost like you're, yeah, you're moving back home or you're moving back to something more essential to you that makes sense to you. Being with your family, closer to your family, being able to celebrate, celebrating. It, there's something celebratory here in you making that choice or moving into a new found life life purpose 
career purpose. I feel like everything is intertwined. Pisces. King of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. Mm, you're motivated. You're motivated. I think that this Three of Swords, the sort of end of cycle, whatever it is, um, is highly motivating you once you you free yourself right it's sort of a sense of freedom once you make your decision it's freeing your mind it's giving you a sort of lightness of being or now you can build you can move you can construct you can right uh, i feel like you you felt stuck for a long time in a certain energy that wasn't yours but it was not easy to make a choice to make that decision here you are um beautiful new energies even though it might be tricky to you know sort of move on and leave those energies behind okay pisces let's see if there's one last message for the road it is a short reading but it is very specific to um an important choice but we don't have the judgment we don't have the justice so this is all you right no one's imposing uh no one is telling you um it, it doesn't look like there is a decision that's made from an entity or from a structure or from justice right it feels like this is your choice even though it's the end of something and that it's it's not easy, it feels like it's your choice. I don't feel like anybody's imposing it upon you. And you have these new energies coming in, uh, I think, that are also pushing you to make that choice. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Moving into something more generous, more of an equal give and take, uh, being there for others, helping others. Maybe you're pushing into a project that is a more equal give and take. Maybe you never felt or haven't felt in a while a sort of balance, right? Emotional balance or financial balance or an equal give and take within a partnership, within a job or within a relationship. This is something that's putting you back in balance, back to where you want to be, back to surrounded by your family, positive energies. This is exciting. This is motivating, but it's also reassuring for you because it feels fair. It feels fair to you and it feels fair to the people surrounding you. And maybe people are helping you. Maybe family is helping you, right? With the six of pentacles. People are there for you, maybe helping you financially, maybe helping you make choices, maneuver, see what the next step is going to be, see what the possibilities, the logistics are, and how they can help you move forward. Yeah, the star. Believe, Pisces. Page of Pentacles. I love it. Yeah, you have money coming in and you really have an offer. It feels like an offer. So it's either a job opportunity, a business opportunity, or money that is helping you. Someone's helping you financially so you can make this decision move. Maybe you're relocating. Maybe you're moving cities, countries. Maybe you want to relocate for this job. Maybe you want to relocate to be closer to your family. Whatever it is, it feels like you are really um, moving into something that makes more sense to you and that gives you more more emotional comfort and emotional stability Knight of Wands again Aries Leo Sag maybe you're dealing with an Aries Leo Sag but for me, the Knight of Wands is not a solid energy. The Knight of Wands is someone that is um, not completely trustworthy. Someone, a lovely person. Someone that really everybody loves. Um, someone that you can hang out with. Uh, you know, uh, a, a beautiful person to have in a gathering, in a good mood, fun. Fun to be with, but not someone reliable. 
right? And I feel like that's where the disconnect is. You're disconnecting with someone you feel not reliable. And other people, maybe your family are helping you or friends are helping you uh, by uh, maybe helping you financially and maybe helping you logistically to move to the next step, the next chapter, whatever it is and whatever it means for you, right? Maybe it's just you in your mind uh, being able to free yourself uh, from those ties that you no longer connect with, that you no longer, they're no longer bringing anything to you. They're just bringing you negative energy. And so now you, you can look forward to moving forward on to your next sort of life purpose. Um, and with the star, it feels, yes, Ace of Wands. Here we go. I was waiting for this Ace building new, starting a new business, starting a new job, starting um, whatever this page of pentacles and page of cups is, it's really pushing you to build, pushing you to build a partnership, to build a business, to start a new job, to start a new project, whatever it is, it's new. It's new. It's new because you're making these choices. Nine of swords stress. Yes, not surprising. Uh, but with the star, it's also, it feels like there's a disconnect between what you thought was going to happen or what you thought what your life was going to be or what you thought your job was going to be, uh, right? With the star, the star is believing and healing, right? So it's healing after understanding that what we expected did not happen, right? That sort of disillusion again that we're having. Um, that disillusion, we have the moon, we have the um, the seven of cups, right? Uh, these are all cards of disillusion. Just entering a zone where you didn't think it was going to be like that doesn't mean it was always like that maybe that job was really good you know and i'm sure the job was really good at one point or the partnership or the relationship whatever that three of swords is that thing that energy that you're ending whether it be job or relationship emotional or logistical whatever it is it is reaching that point with the star where your dreams are no longer reality. Now, it doesn't mean that we always get all our dreams and we all get our wishes and it's not normal to get our... No, that's not what I mean. What I mean is that you believed in this. You believed in this relationship. You believed in this job. You loved this job. You loved this relationship, this partnership, whatever it is. For you that is ending you truly believed in it you had your vision it was there this is what was going to happen and it just didn't pan out that way right it will be different for each and every one of you but that's the way it feels and so but to come to realization of that of that of which didn't happen the way you expected it to or sort of um, sort of fizzled out. There's also the wear and tear. Um, that is now freeing yourself, your mind, your emotions to free, you know, to make that decision, make that choice, maybe that you have been wanting to make for a long time to move closer to home, to change homes, to leave someone, to leave a job right? To move whatever, whatever, whatever it means for you to change careers. Although we don't have the death card and we don't have, right? So this for me is wear and tear and wear and tear. I don't like to say it that way, but the fizzling out of something enough so that you don't trust it to be yours anymore and that you wish to make a decision to want out and move on to something else if that makes sense pisces uh i hope you enjoy this reading as much as i did thank you so much for watching thank you to each and everyone for sharing your energies for being here for connecting thank you for supporting this channel from the bottom of my heart 
I want to believe that the magic word is believe. Believe. Or healing. Healing. You can put both down below if you connect with both or if you just connect with one, believe or healing, because I think it's more healing. As you heal, you're able to make that choice and move forward within your path. So healing for me. But if you wish to put believe, you can put believe. Thank you so much for watching, Pisces. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.